Blogger is a blogging web service that allows anyone to start a blog without programming experience. Also, no software configuration is required. In this video, we'll show you how to connect your Namecheap domain name to your Blogger account. The steps below are applicable to domain names using our basic DNS, free DNS, and premium DNS systems. There are only two parts, setting up a domain and account at Blogger, and creating the records in your Namecheap account. Log into your Blogger account and select the Settings section from the sidebar on the left. Click on the Custom Domain in the Publishing section. In the pop-up window, insert your domain, making sure you include the www. part. You can use any subdomain. We will use our own domain name as an example here. Once you enter your domain name in Blogger, you'll see exactly what to enter into Namecheap in red text within the pop-up window. Don't close the pop-up window until the highlighted records are copied and saved to your Namecheap account. To add the records, log into your Namecheap account and navigate to the Advanced DNS tab. On this page, you'll need to create four A records and two C name records. The values for the C name records can be found inside the Blogger account in the pop-up window. You will also need A records. The specific IP addresses for the A records can be found under this video. They will fit any domain. Click the Add New Record button in the Host Records section. Add four A records for the hostname at. No need to type in your domain, as the at value is the equivalent of your domain, without the www to our system. Now, add two C name records. The name of the record should be entered into the host field and destination into the value field in your Namecheap account from the pop-up window in your Blogger account. Once all records are added, click Save All Changes. Make sure you delete any conflicting A name, C name, alias, or URL redirect records for the same host names. Just click on the trash icon next to these records. Now you need to click on the Save button in the pop-up window once the host records are configured in your Namecheap account. Please keep in mind that the changes can need up to 30 minutes to take effect. You'll still see the panel with records displayed in red during this time. If the records are created correctly and propagation passed, you'll see the message, settings updated, and your domain will be added to the custom domain section. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can post them under this video, or check out our knowledge base at namecheap.com for more tips and support.